it's hard for me to imagine Arkansas without Arkansas advocates. It's so identified to me with the best side of Arkansas, and that is people coming together, acknowledging problems, and saying, we can do something about this. The Advocates is like uh, a do-gooder trade association. So no matter what issue my wife and I are working on, I have one, one phone number to call and somebody up and down the hall at the Arkansas Advocates has worked that issue. You can't get a better trade association than the Arkansas Advocates. <laughs> because Arkansas Advocates is independent, it's not beholden to or confined by politics, by special interest groups. They're free and independent of that and so they have the ability to focus on the things that are important and what is more important than children and their families. One of the things I admire most about advocates over the years is their ability to focus and to decide on priorities because you cannot do everything. If you looked at the early discussions, the, we, we focused on four disciplines. We looked at law, social work, medicine, and education, and I think that's been at the heart of the advocate's success. The child welfare system was one of the proudest moments of turning over the juvenile courts and as being unconstitutional, an astounding moment. I wish 40 years ago we had a brownie camera to take a snapshot of the child welfare and juvenile justice system. If I could lay down a snapshot now and compare it to 40 years, it's unbelievable difference. It's a horrible place to be in as a parent of wanting to help your child and needing to do the right thing when you don't have the resources to do it. The governor wanted to cut Medicaid and I, the way I can piece this together is he invited 40 organizations and it was a big rectangle table and they went around the room making their case about Medicaid. And when Amy stood up, she said, Governor, if you're going to cut Medicaid, you should invest some of the savings in children. And the governor took it that moment and ran with it. I called Amy the next day and I said, that's what the advocates all, that's what the founders wanted, what you did yesterday. Um, over the last decade, um, Arkansas went from only $10 million um, in annual funding uh, to a hundred and uh, now $14 million um, in annual funding. The fact that Arkansas chose to make an investment in pre-K and the fact that we have a lot more three and four year olds getting the help that they need to be ready for kindergarten has had a, an incredible impact. A hundred million dollars for pre-K is a pretty big milestone. And I think that what motivates me that the, so I'll say the level of quality for kids, if it's not good enough for mine, it really shouldn't be good enough for anybody's. Really critical to democracy flourishing is people believing they can make a difference and not giving up. And to me, the story of advocates not giving up, because as I've acknowledged, every problem we set out to address is still there. The question becomes, how much worse would those problems be? How different would the landscape be if we had not made the efforts we have made successfully over the years? One of the things that's probably understated is how often Arkansas Advocates keeps bad things from happening. That you can have, um, if you pass good legislation and have a big win like pre-K, um, th that's very visible, but if bad legislation that would harm the well-being of children and families goes through, um, you know, that now, now we're not being proactive, we're having to be reactive. They know this. They know that if you don't show up, you don't get a voice. And, and you subvert your mission if you don't show up. They never do that. They, they show up and they're always a part of making the rules and making the laws. And that's what Advocates does, continue to put that information out there. No matter how bleak things look, no matter how tired they are, they are still doing the work and that in itself is a supreme achievement. The most unhappy people I know are the people who've given up on anything ever being better. 
Advocates doesn't give up on making things better. It's a relentless organization, just never, never, never gives up. When I tell my staff when, when things get tough, hey, let's just remember uh, w why we're doing this work um, and how important it is because the children um, and families uh, um, are depending on us to get the job done. It's an amazing story for 40 years of what we have changed in this state, not alone, but with a lot of partners who stood with us, who became an organization not based on personalities, but based on what it was we were doing and how many people saw this as a passionate cause.